guess I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> from the area here. They actually have a burger named after him, don't they? The Big Ben Burger or something. So we're here, we're gonna go in and eat some salad. <laughs> we had a good lunch. We had lots of salad, didn't we? What? I never eat so much salad in my life. <laughs> yeah, we ate a lot of salad. But it was good. They have such good salad there, don't they? Sick. We're just sitting here waiting for the little the little princess, our little granddaughter. She's gonna come over and spend the night. My daughter works tonight, so we went shopping. Got some stuff for Super Bowl snacks. Some stuff that's some healthy choices for us, right? You talk way too much. <laughs> so we'll show you our stuff that we got when we get home. Hey guys, so here's the grocery haul. Nothing too overly exciting, but the reason I wanted to show it to you is because we're gonna do Super Bowl Sunday snacks, but we're gonna make them a little bit um, low carb and lower carb. It's gonna be a little bit more fat than I kind of want right now, but um, this is what I'm making. I'm not gonna eat everything, so. Hey you, I have a little helper today. All right, I got these. Actually, I did not get these today, but I want to show them to you. Big bags of chicken wings. Better come get her. These chicken wings are four pound bags. I got two of them. We're gonna have some company over. So, um, this is my daughter and her fiance, and my boys and husband, and yeah, they love wings. So, wings. I'm gonna make wings. I got this gigantic jar of pickles. I didn't get this today either. This was given to me by a friend. Are you my helper too? I saw you making videos, right? You had to come in and say hi? Yeah. You guys know Chase. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna make these, uh, you can slice them in half and take out the center of them, like the mushy part in the center. You stuff them with this cheese stuff and wrap them with bacon and you actually bake them in the oven. So I don't like pickles. I don't like dill pickles anyway, but I'm making those for everybody else. So yeah. I got some of this natural peanut butter. This is the kind of peanut butter I get. And I'm using a different camera, so I'm not even sure how well you can see this, but the Smucker's Natural Creamy Peanut Butter, it's got the oil on top. It has to be stirred. So, yeah. Could you see it? Yep. So, can you see it okay, Chase? He's back there looking in my Don't touch that. viewer thing. Yeah, I can't see it from yeah. the front. Is it good? It is cool. All right. <laughs> and I got my half and half, which I usually buy at Aldi's, but we didn't want to have to make another stop. So I just got a half and half at Walmart. I do use this in my coffee. Don't ever give it up. I also got some of this um, sugar-free caramel syrup because my daughter is coming for Super Bowl. And she likes, we like to sit down and have these caramel kind of latte type things that we make with the coffee. And she always uses the caramel syrup. So I thought I'd get some sugar-free and have one with her. She'll use sugar-free too. And uh, I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it is. It's probably not like the best thing in the world, like if you're super like health conscious, but you know, yeah. 
And John would possibly like to have a little treat too, so he picked up some of this to see see how that works for him. I picked up this bag of shredded cheddar, but even though I shred my own, I have like some blocks out there to shred, but I also picked up a sharp cheddar. This is just mild cheddar in case I don't have enough. And if I do, then we'll use it for salads or something. I got some of this buddy beef. It's just like a um, original beef. It's just lunch meat and it's just a small package, but I got three of them because I'm going to make some, I'm going to put cream cheese over them and just roll it up and that would be an appetizer. And then this is uh, thin sliced salami, which is going to be used for the same thing. I just thought I'd try it with the beef too. And I'll, I'll probably only use like one pack of this and my grandson likes to have this on sandwiches too. Same with this. But anyway, I'll make a few of those up. And then this is for, this is also going to be, this is ham. And it's going to be for the pickles too. We're doing the cream cheese with a pickle in it and then you roll it up. I don't like those either, but everybody else wants them. So there you go. I got two bags of this celery. I never buy my celery like this. I always buy the actual stock, that, you know, or whatever you call it, like the actual bunch of it that you have to cut and do up yourself. It looked horrible. So, like I said, we didn't really want to go to another store. So, I just picked up this because we're completely out of celery. And that peanut butter right there goes on that celery and it makes a really nice snack. John loves it after work to grab something quick. And I wanted to have a journal because we're going to be starting our fitness program, which we're going to talk about in a minute. And my printer's not working right. I keep saying it's offline. How do I fix that? Does anybody know? Tell me. But anyway, I was going to print out some calendar pages just so I could kind of keep track of what I'm doing and figure out exactly where I am and what I'm going to be doing for my schedule, for my fitness, my workouts and stuff. And I decided to pick up I wanted a journal, so I got this, and I got this little, like mini, kind of mini calendar, I guess. It's not big, but it's not tiny either, and it's perfect, and I'm just going to write down kind of what I do and where I am, like my fat percent, like in the morning, we're going to check our fat percent and weight and everything, and probably just weigh once a week, maybe on Saturday mornings. So, there you go. It's going to be kind of playing it by ear for a little bit, but... And I like this because it says, yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> and another thing I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making some, I'm going to make some deviled eggs. I'm going to make some cauliflower breadsticks. Um, I think that's about it. So, okay. So, like I said, I'm going to explain the kind of fitness program we're going to do, I guess, routine, whatever you want to call it. Um, this right here. This is my husband, his name's John. Or right. anybody who might not know. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, he's my personal trainer, right? <laughs> yeah. But he's got a little program in mind that he's going to have me do some different workouts. And um, like I said a minute ago, my printer hasn't been working. So I got some construction paper out and I made my own little calendar last night. <laughs> but. I got a new one today, so we won't need the construction paper anymore. But he did write down, like, when we're done with this little video clip right here, we're going to head out to the garage, to the weight room, right? Yep. And he's going to put me through something, I don't know what. Shoulders and back, right? Shoulders and back. Okay. So, like, today's going to be shoulders and back. I really want to work on strengthening my back, my back muscles, since my back's been bothering me so much lately. But, um, we're going to take it really slow, and we're going to be really... Well, um, pay close attention to how my back's feeling, so he's not going to try to kill me or anything. <laughs> then, like, tomorrow's going to be legs and glutes. Sunday's chest. I'm going to do some cardio on Monday. And Tuesday's going to be biceps, and Wednesday's triceps, Thursday's a day off. So, he's, he's already got kind of his own routine, his own schedule down. So, we're going to start going out there together, and, um... I don't know if we'll always be able to go out there together because we have the little ones sometimes here and it might not always be possible. Right now Chase is kind of keeping an eye on her so you know he helps out. But um, and as far as diet goes, I'm on phase three right now so and he's doing it with me. So we're going to stick with that for the three weeks like you're supposed to and try to stabilize our weight or my weight. He wasn't doing phase two so anyway 
I want to try and stabilize, but at the same time I'm going to be working out. So, I don't know. We're just going to kind of play it by ear at first. And I'm going to stay strictly low carb at first, which I think will be fine starting out. But we're going to stay on a strict <laughs> diet, I guess. I don't mean diet as in weight loss diet, but as in what we're eating. Um, for long term and kind of be really... I don't know, make it a lifestyle of healthier eating. We did it for a long time before, kind of went off the rails for a while, so. Anyway, it's doable, right? It's doable. Yeah. As we go along, we're just kind of, kind of going to play it by ear as far as diet goes and change up our diets as our body needs them to be changed. So maybe add in whatever carbs we need to add in, you know, the healthy stuff. I'm not talking about potato chips and stuff like that. The healthy products that we might need as our workouts, as my workouts get a little bit more intense and stuff like that. Our goal is to bring down the fat percent and I would like to lose a little bit more weight. So we'll see how that works out. But the main thing I want to lose is the fat. So we're going to keep an eye on the fat percent. In the morning we're both going to weigh and check the fat percent and kind of go from there. Do you have anything to add? No, I think I pretty much covered it. Okay, well... He was just in here to be a pretty face then. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. I guess that's about it. Okay. Let's go. See ya. Bye. Oh, yeah, we're heading out to the garage. At nine o'clock. Yeah, it's a little later than we planned, but we're doing it. No excuses, right? What? No excuses. We're gonna motivate each other. So. See ya. Bye. He wears his flip-flops outside. It's like 20 degrees. We're done. We worked out. Honey, am I supposed to feel like I'm going to puke? Yeah, well, I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but that's not abnormal. Oh. See ya.